testing out the GoPro, heading off to work. Beautiful day. Testing out a new microphone, Speed Twin 1200, <clears throat> 2022 model. A few upgrades. Need to get some gas. Then I'm off to work. Need to hit the vape shop, get some nicotine. mesh jacket, mesh pants, shorts and a t-shirt underneath. The jacket and pants have full protection. Spine protector, hip protector, elbows, knees, all the good stuff. I'm actually wearing my steel-toed work boots though. Didn't have room in my Nelson rig tail bag for my uh, size 14 steel-toed boots. So, I'm just going to stop the petrol can here and get some Gasola. Alright. Auto vlogging again. See how this works out. Hopefully the speaker's good. We shall see. Hopefully it doesn't sound like Darth Vader. Use the GoPro. Yeah. It is hot. Riding to work. I'm filling in at another branch for a couple weeks. It's a little further away, so my usual branch is 10 minutes. It's not even worth riding. This is like a 40 minute ride, so. Want to get out of the city here onto the country roads up here in southwest Ontario. I'm part of Ontario right here. Yeah, hopefully this microphone's good. It's just a cheap gaming mic. Paid ten bucks for it. It's a TRS, so it plugs straight into the media mod. And it's a super cheap microphone, so hopefully it's not too sensitive. We shall see. Uh, never trust these intersections here. These left turners are blind. Almost got cut off doing 100 the other day on a country road. A lady was sitting there, I was clearly there, and she didn't see me, started turning, and then slammed her brakes on. I was already starting to do an emergency right hand and slow out of the way but yeah it wasn't looking good good thing she uh, slammed on her brakes yeah i had a ninja 2022 ninja 1000 sx last year i uh i like the bike but uh i had to reshuffle some of my finances and it was cheaper for me to finance this and pay off all my credit so yeah I'll be having keeping this for the next couple years anyway I love this bike um, obviously Ninja top speeds faster but this thing zero to 100 I'd say it's pretty damn close torque monster fun bike handles really well too has the uh, Racetech RR Metzler tires from the factory they uh, <laughs> the best tires I've ever had I don't know if it's the bike because it's so small. I'm a big dude too. I'm 6'4", 270 and it's not all fat. Kind of a mix. Got a lot of muscle too because I go to the gym but I like to eat so. It's a good mix. I look country strong, country boy, farm boy. Um, even though I'm not a farm boy. Yeah, we're almost in the country now. Uh, where I live, it's pretty much country outside the city limits. Man, 
again, I say this Joe Rocket mesh jacket. I have a t-shirt underneath. It's got a spine protector, elbow protector. It's like, it's like wearing a t-shirt, even though it's black. And it's like 30 degrees right now. Same with the mesh pants. Portek, I got them on sale at Fort 9. Mesh pants, black. Super comfy. Super comfy. Wearing shorts underneath. They have hip protectors and all that good stuff. Yeah, it's nice. Saw the police back there. I wasn't speeding. <laughs> speed limit 60 here. I think I was doing exactly 60. I don't speed in the city ever. Ever. Once you get outside the city is where you can speed. It's safer. Less people and cars pulling out of side streets. Yeah, I don't get why people just rip it in the city. You're just asking to be killed. Got some 20 millimeter lowered pegs. I think Race Tech. I can't remember out of the states. Uh, threw those on. Uh, got a dart windscreen, the classic one. So it's like the medium height one out of the three. This is a small one, which is a piranha, and then the big one. Don't know what the name of the big one is because I would never get it. Merlin or something. Uh, Evo Tech Radiator Guard. Evo Tech Tail Tidy. Uh, what else? Just some bobbins. Some Gillies tooling bobbins, so I can lift it up and do chain maintenance with my pit bull stand. I have the sidearm stand, it works perfect with this bike. Uh, that's about it. I blacked out the yellow stripes on the side, I have the matte storm grey model. It was actually the uh, dealership's uh, owner's demo last year, it put 630 kilometers on it. And I saved 2,300 before tax, and I got a free first service, so... Basically saved just over three grand on this thing. It's a brand new bike. Good deal if I do. <clears throat> Bloody good deal if I do say so myself. Yeah, we have a big rig here. Hopefully all this audio is not too bad. I'm on the highway now, it's only 80 here, but of course everyone does 100. So just kind of going with the flow, doing about 90. And we're out in the country. I have the ND filter on the GoPro as recommended. It's uh, 32, pretty well. It's pretty bright today, so it's not overcast. So they recommend the 16 ND filter if it's overcast or sunny, but just uh, yeah, shady, whatnot. A little paranoid. I just bought this GoPro Hero 11 and put the mount on. It's just an adhesive mount, and I don't have a tether on it right now, so it's kind of scary. Not want to lose that. So just taking it easy, cruising here. Basically, just doing a microphone test. Hopefully, it's good. We shall see. And then we'll watch it later. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely paranoid. I gotta get that tether on there. I bought some, but they're a little small, 12 inch tethers. I'm gonna wrap it around the chin base and then the, the thumb screw. Uh, I'm just wearing it this one way, it should be fine. I should have been paranoid. It's a, I heated it up with the hair dryer, the 3M adhesive. I alcohol wiped the helmet first, heated it up both sides, heated the helmet up, heated the sticker up, and then uh, put the piece on. Just one time shot and then used a clamp. Left the clamp on there for about an hour. That was way more time than you need for it to cure and cool down from heating it. So it should be pretty solid. I'd be pretty pissed if it fell. Definitely windy though. Let's see how this helmet sounds. Hopefully, I get some good sound. Taking it easy. But yeah, hopefully the view is good too. Like the angle. Would be nice. I uh, had an old DJI Osmo while it's my girlfriend's, the original one. And I've been trying to get the purple panda and it just sounded terrible. 
Well, the video quality is not great, so I figured I would uh, buy my first action cam. And yeah, that's a Hero 11. But hopefully, hopefully it turns out well. We shall see. I did some recommended settings off uh, YouTube recommendations. day shift you'd just be getting off now and probably gonna go out and do some vlogging. He's been encouraging me to do it. So I figured I'd get out there and get some done. I wonder if I'll catch the sound of the engine. Yeah, this engine gets pretty hot too, eh? Probably the hottest engine I've ever felt on a bike. Got that big parallel twin right there by your leg. No fairings or anything. She get hot, that's for sure. Apparently doing an X-Pipe mod will uh, fix that. Then make it louder, which uh, I'm not opposed to. Uh, don't mind that at all. When I picked this bike up, actually, there was a guy with a 2019. Uh, he was just getting some service done but he had an x-pipe and some slip-ons damn it sounded good so yeah maybe a future mod we'll see i'm keeping this for a few years for sure i'm not like some motor vlogger that just gets a different bike every freaking week although my friends would laugh at you for that because i've had three bikes in the last like year and a half had a 2020 africa twin standard manual transmission had a 22 Ninja 1000 SX, and yeah, now I got this. For that, I had a Vulcan 1700 DR650, uh, Z1000, a Husaberg FE 570, Vulcan 1600. I've had two other DR650s, and for that, I basically rode dirt bikes my whole life. Depends where you live. Out here, it's so every road's just straight and boring. You find some cor corners here and there. We know all the corners on our runs, me and my boys, but uh, most of the roads are like this, just flat and boring. So, gotta get some twisty action on the tires here once in a while. They just get flat so quick. Yeah, definitely get flat quick. some side action on them. Figure 
I'll just shut up for a bit and listen to the bike. stock exhaust I've ever had. I used to think the Africa Twin sounded good because that's a parallel twin too. But yeah, this thing just, oh mm, my god. Got an extra 100cc over the twin plus the stock exhaust just sounded oh, gorgeous. Even my friend on his uh, 2018 Z900 RS Cafe, the green one, just beautiful. Everyone loves that bike. That thing sounds amazing stock too for an inline four. I don't want to change the exhaust on that either. Yeah, once in a while you get some nice bikes that don't need exhaust mods. I don't believe this thing needs one. Although the X-Pipe mod might be nice if it really does get rid of heat, because whew, this thing sure does pump out some heat down there. home tonight will definitely be nicer. Trying to avoid lights but I think this is the only town on the way to where I'm going. It's pretty much highway all the way, 80. Everyone's doing 100 anyway. There goes the engine fan. Yeah she's kicking out some heat. the GoPro hasn't turned off and overheated. I heard there can be problems like that. Yeah, it's nice. Once you're moving, much better. Otherwise, terrible. one way today too because I didn't bring my ND filters to put my stock lens back on for nighttime riding. Plus apparently it's shit at night anyway. Can't really see much. No point. And I'd like to get that tether going. this in LA stop and go traffic.
wondering how this is gonna sound. Going like a hundred. my donga. I have a clip on one and I could just attach these arms to it make it a better view. I couldn't get it back far enough. To, I could have just used these mounts. That thing I trust. It's in there good. I think I'll go back to that. Plus it, you can just unclip it too, right? So it's not permanent. The one I put on well, pretty much permanent. I'm going to have to heat it off. If I decide to take it off, I might get the tether and leave it on for a while. Well, I probably will, otherwise it should be a waste. But I can uh, borrow this clip on if I get a new helmet one day. This thing's got punch, considering you're at 100k an hour and four. You hit that throttle and she, uh, she pulls. Like pulls. Like a tractor. Instant torque. Like a diesel.
say that the wind levels are definitely better than the helmet when you're going around like this. A hundred times better. I don't even hear any wind in my helmet right now. It's doing like 60. But just being in the city, being sheltered by the buildings, it's much quieter. We'll see how the cheap microphone does. Oh shit.
nice and bumpy. Shit road. Hey, oh, shit road. Shitty road. And I'm gonna be ending up in a dirt parking lot. 